Good morning, Gorilla Gang. It is Saturday, June 5th, 2021. It is about 9.15 in the morning, and I just wanted to hop on here real quick to talk about uh, a few things that happened yesterday, especially with the Andrew Ross Sorkin interview with Trey Trades, and I just felt like that was totally uncalled for, for two reasons. Mainly because CNBC had reported Thursday morning that the 11.5 million shares that AMC was going to sell into the market were going to be done from time to time. So... They went so far with this that I went on and put out a video saying that don't panic. This They're not dropping them. This isn't a share dump. Not to panic. And, you know, I was wrong about that, as we found out later that night from AA, that these shares were something that were supposed to be given to the CEOs and executives that they decided would be better off to help the company, which... I still don't know where the 20 million shares came from because they said it was supposed to be put to a vote, but we haven't had that vote yet. But anyways, neither here nor there. But then, so Trey goes on and puts a tweet in saying this is FUD because it's actually old stocks from back in April. So they're both wrong. Trey was wrong, I was wrong, and CNBC was wrong. But CNBC doesn't seem to want to admit that. They just call Trey out by saying that he was wrong on his tweet saying they were back from April, neglecting to mention the fact, oh yeah, we also came out and said those shares would be sold from time to time in the future, which also was false, completely false information. Whether good or bad, it was wrong. And my reporting on it in my fun video was wrong. So I think everyone needs to take a step back and relax on Trey and, you know, CNBC are no better because they just jumped to the conclusion And, you know, you think you can trust what they say in the media? You can't. No matter what it's about, if it's political, if it's about the stock market, whatever it is, they can't be trusted, mainstream media. So I just want to show you the two different clips and show you how there is no difference for either one of them. So for Andrew Ross Sorkin to call out Trey is BS. Without further ado, cue the speeder. You just said that on camera. This is going viral. I just want to thank all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for helping me pass 100. If you haven't subscribed, hopefully I can earn it today. Before we get started with these two clips, I just want to bring your attention to the tweet that Trey put out. I believe it was first thing this morning. It's an interesting picture. Uh, take it for what it's worth, but I thought it was something that I found pretty interesting to see these two together. Uh, considering what the conversation was like, that in the interview with Trey, what Andrew was saying versus what Trey was saying. But, uh, okay, let's jump into the clip. It is, first, let's do the clip where CNBC reported early Thursday morning about the 11.5 million shares and what they said. 11.55 million shares. This is according to an 8K that AMC will sell those shares, quote, from time to time, you're looking at uh, the stock up this morning, up close to $80, uh, 11% higher, 69.50. Of course, they'd be raising something on the order of $800 million. Again, an opportunity for them to pay down some debt, uh, get it in while the getting is good. If, in fact, they're doing this, there's been a question mark about how many shares they ultimately could sell without a shareholder vote. Um, and we're going to uh, try to dig through this filing and try to understand some of the details Uh, that are coming out literally as we speak. Meantime, quick check on crypto right now because Bitcoin has been moving uh, this. So, Apes, that video was taken first thing Thursday morning before the bell even rung for the opening of the market. And as we found out later that night in the AA interview with Trey, those were not going to be released from time to time. They did dump them immediately into the market. And they raised like, I think, $600 million in capital uh, that they're going to use to pay off some debt. I'm not going to go back into the trade interview. You've, most of you have already seen it. If you're apes, you've, you've seen it. And by the way, congratulations if you're still watching these videos because that means you're diamond hit in the stock. And I love you guys because so am I. And the true apes are still here. We saw the stock come down $20 and we are still holding because we know the shorts have not started to cover yet. And when it does, we can all look back and say, see, you just had to wait. You had a diamond hand. 
I think it's a good thing a lot of these paper handers are out of our way because now we have control of the stocks. There's no more that can come out. There's 47,000, I'm sorry, 47,000 shares that are still available that they can sell. But really, that's a blip on the radar screen. We have control of the majority of the company, which is good. Okay, now, here's what Andrew Ross Sorkin said to Trey during their interview. Remember, this is just 24 hours later, and he's going to go on the attack. Andrew Ross Sorkin is. Let's see what he says. I think this is a new change of investing. But am I, I, I think the question I'm asking is, am I supposed to be concerned that, I mean, people have talked about these types of things over the years as, as pump and dump schemes where people talk up a stock, right? And there are some people who are very educated. Trey, you, you, you seem to know a lot about what's going on. And by the way, there's a lot of people online trading this right now that do understand and understand all of the dynamics. But then there seems to be a lot of people who don't. And, and by the way, uh, people make mistakes along the way. Uh, yesterday, I, I, I noticed you had said at one point that you thought when, they, when AMC first put out that announcement about the 11.5 million shares, you know, you would put out a tweet telling everybody, no, 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 that, that's actually old news. It's from a different, different, uh, uh, it's from, from an old filing. And, and that, that proved to be wrong. And so I just, I ask you that because I think that there are people who are listening to you in, in terms of how you think about your own responsibility to all of the other apes. Right, and I appreciate you holding me responsible, Andrew. That's 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 totally okay, and I, I hold that weight very very heavily. And and being careful about the things that I say and put out online. You no, know, now the the big message that I've always preached and tried to live by over the last six months, and I think what really takes any sort of risk and overexposure to AMC stock off the table is only investing into it what you're willing to lose. You know, especially call options. This has been something I've talked about with the call options chain over the last, you know, probably three months is view these call options, you know, buying a $70, $80, $100, $110 call essentially as a decent odds lottery ticket. That's what those are, right? Because we can't predict the volatility either up or down in either direction for AMC stock. So any of you asking yourselves, what was the point of that? Well, Andrew Ross Sorkin is trying to create fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Saying, putting on the bottom of the screen, this is the leader of the apes, and he doesn't know what he's talking about. Neglecting to mention that they had the exact same false report 24 hours earlier. At the same time, Trey was stating these are old shares. They were reporting that these shares were going to be sold from time to time, and they weren't sure whether or not the shareholders had to vote on this or if it was already a guaranteed thing, a done deal. So by putting this out and calling, and then they, then they go and start the music after they ask him the question, they start rolling the music in so that he's, his words are getting cut off as he's trying to explain what happened the day before, why he was wrong. So instead of us getting an explanation, and especially this is for like newer apes, instead of you saying, okay, let's hear what he has to say, they start drowning him out with music. What the hell kind of interview is that? This is the problem with the mainstream media and their attachments to these hedge funds. They're all in it together. And no matter what they do, we are still winning this fight. Because... The stock has fallen, yes, but it hasn't sold off. It has consolidated, which means people are diming hand in this, just like we said that we would and when we started this community back four months ago. Gang, that's all I have for you this morning. Uh, I'll be back later tonight with another video talking about and recapping some of the week that was. Um, just uh, be careful about what you listen to. Everybody's got opinions. We learn facts as they come to light. Don't don't panic ever. Um, there's a huge community out there who are backing you, supporting you, who you can go to for information. Um, and, you know, it, this community is strong. So you're not alone. We've built this thing from the bottom up, and we are winning. Uh, that's all I got. Thank you so far for... Thank you so much for making it this far in the video. To my new viewers and subscribers, thank you so much for your support. I don't need anything financially. I just want you guys to like and subscribe to the videos. That's all I care about is getting the word out there so we can pop this thing and go to the moon. Uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Uh, it's nice outside. Get out. Do something. Get physical. Because I know you guys are all going to be back 
on Monday morning <laughs> watching the lines. All right, guys, that's all I got for today. I'll be with you later tonight. I'm the Mastalorian, and I'm out. <laughs>